This version of minced beef with potatoes is super easy. It's a delicious dinner idea that the whole family will love, especially the kids. I'll show you the secret to bring out the best flavor in minced beef and how to cook potatoes such that they won't fall apart during cooking. Plus, this is a kids-friendly dish because it's seasoned with ketchup for that sweet and savory taste. For this dish, we will need potatoes, minced beef, onions, diced, spring onions that's been separated into its white and green parts. For the potato, cut the potato into wedges. I'm leaving the skin on here, so give them a good wash first. There are many types of potatoes, but around here in the local markets, they are generally divided into two types the white and the yellow potatoes. Which potato you use would come down to the texture and the flavor preference of that particular dish. Yellow potatoes are rich and creamy. They hold their shape well during cooking. This makes them ideal for roasting and frying. White potatoes, on the other hand, are lighter and fluffier in texture with a milder flavor. They are great for baking and mashing. For this recipe, we'll go with the yellow potatoes. Cut the potatoes into wedges. Then put them in water to get rid of the extra starch and to prevent them from oxidizing. We want to cook the potatoes first. I'm steaming my potatoes here till they're tender but you may want to boil them or microwave your potatoes instead. It doesn't matter how you do this. I steam my potatoes for about 15 minutes till they're tender. Then set them aside. Next, put your pan over a medium high heat. Add in more oil than usual as we are going to shallow fry the potatoes. The oil is hot enough when it starts to smoke or when a wooden chopstick produces bubbles. Add in your potato wedges a few at a time. You will want to fry your potatoes in wedges because adding too many potatoes in the oil would drastically lower the temperature. Fry your potatoes till a layer of skin forms on the outside. Something like this. This outer layer of skin will help the potato keep its shape while cooking. When all the potatoes are done, remove and set them aside. Remove the oil leaving about 2 tablespoons of oil in the pan. Heat the pan over a medium-high heat again. When the oil is hot, add in your ground beef. Break up the ground beef as you fry. Now, most cooks will stop frying the beef when it's no longer pink. But to get the most out of your ground beef, Continue to fry the beef till oil and water are extracted from the beef. At this point, you would hear the boiling and bubbling of water and oil. Continue to fry the beef till the oil and water has dried up.
When it's dry, you will hear a sizzling sound from the pan instead. Continue to fry the beef till you get a dark golden colour. Some pawn or bits of beef may be stuck to the bottom of the pan. This is fine. Next, add in your onions and the white parts of your spring onions. Fry this for about a minute till they are fragrant. Then season it with salt. Pepper. Like soy sauce. Water. And ketchup. Give all this a good mix. At the same time, deglaze the pan by gently scraping away the bits of beef that are stuck at the bottom of the pan. Next, return the potatoes into the pan. Pause to coat the potatoes. Then taste and adjust for seasoning. When it is the way you like it to be, turn off the heat. Add in the green parts of the spring onions. Give it a final toss and we are done. This is an easy and comforting minced beef with potatoes dish that even the kids will love. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next. And thanks for watching. Happy cooking.